next guest proved years ago that he knew exactly what I was thinking, and now he's back to do it again from Waterford, Ireland. Please welcome back magician Keith Berry. Hi, Keith. How, How are, are you? Virtual hugs, virtual elbow bumps, all that kind of oh, stuff. How are you? All that right back at you. How are things in Ireland right now? Yeah, you know, we're back in another lockdown, but, you know, I'm staying positive. I'm locked in the cabin here, performing virtually and doing lots of cool things with kids at the moment, actually teaching them magic on Facebook, which they can share with uh, their friends and family during lockdown, you know? Very cool. That's great you're doing that. Okay. I, uh, as usual, don't like to know what's happening ahead of time. So what do you have today? So I saw during lockdown that you were attempting at least to try and learn a couple of card tricks, but I designed a card trick specifically for you. So I've got a deck of cards and you can see the names of the cards are all different, but I'm not talking about the names on the faces, just I'm also talking about the names on the backs of the cards, Ellen, because I made this deck specifically for you. You see, I've written the names of previous guests of yours on the backs of these cards. Favorite guests of mine have been on your show. Now, I'll show you something. We've got Sharers there. We also got Bruno Mars. Now, David, David Blaine has been recently on your show. I gave him the seven of diamonds. Every person has a different personality and a different card. So, for example, Bindi is there. Alec Baldwin, I know you had him on your show recently, and I gave him the ace of spades, kind of a mystery card. But here's the idea. Ellen, I'm thinking of the person who's associated specifically right now with the four of diamonds. And I'm mentally sending you the name of that person. You've got to figure out which one of these it is. I'll go through them, and you can tell me whichever name you want. Either say stop or just call out the name. Now, we know it's not Alec or David, but you can have Cher, you can have Bruno, Jaden, whichever one you think is the four of diamonds. Bindi, Shakira is there. Pink is also there. Judge Judy is there. Name any one of them out loud. Ewan McGregor, Deepak Chopra, Wanda Sykes is there. Lily is there. Garth Brooks is there. Jamie, use your intuition. Justin. We got Kai is there, Brittany is there, Dido is there. All right. Is there anything that you've seen here? I think uh, I'm going to say pink. Oh, I'm going to go all the way back to pink. Okay, so let's go back to pink and let's find pink. She's back here somewhere. So you think that pink, for some reason, she might be the four of diamonds. I'm going to take pink and I'm just going to place her over here for a moment because I also marked one of these cards as average Andy. Now, I'm going to tell you now, he's not the Joker, okay? That's too obvious. The Joker is obviously the one and only Joaquin Phoenix. Which card? Name any card out loud you think is average and just name a random playing card. Go ahead. Ten of hearts. Do you think the ten of hearts might be average and? Let's go through here and find the ten of hearts. There it is right there. So for some reason, you went with the ten of hearts for average and, and you believe pink over here might have been the four of diamonds for some reason. But here's the interesting thing. Check this out. If I, now, there's no way you could have known which one was the four of diamonds or which one was the average Andy. No. But Ellen, you did an amazing job because you found the four of diamonds, which was indeed pink. And over here, you also found average Andy. There they are right there. You did an amazing job. How? 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 Well, you did it, not me. How? All right, what's next? Okay, so look. I want to go over to the States sometime soon. I actually bought a new suitcase recently. I've got it down here. It's completely empty. It's brand new. Nothing inside. I've also got a brand new luggage tag here. So, Ellen, we're going to go on a, an imaginary holiday. I'll take the luggage tag off, and I'll just hang the luggage tag here for a moment. Now, Ellen, as a matter of fact, this holiday is going to take place in your imagination. So here's what I want you to do. Just make your mind completely blank for a moment. That's hard. And now I want you to imagine that you're going on holidays with any celebrity in the world. Now, it doesn't have to be a celebrity from the deck of cards. Any celebrity you want. If you're going on holidays right now, because I, I guess it's difficult for you to travel too, right? Yes. Okay, who would you go on holidays with right now? Uh, I, Sia. Okay, so you'd go on holidays with Sia, and I want you to imagine that you've got Sia's number in your, uh, in your phone, okay? And I want you to imagine you're scrolling through your phone, you see Sia's number in your phone, okay? Do you have Sia's number in your phone, by the way? Yes. Okay, I want you to imagine that you can see the last three digits. What do you think the last three digits of Sia's telephone number are? 615. 615. So Sia, last three numbers, 615. And imagine that you're going to go anywhere you want in the world with Sia. Where would you go right now if you could grab a suitcase and go there? Uh, South Africa. South Africa. Interesting choice. Now, it is important. You mentioned it, but I'll mention it again. Is there any way that I could have known in advance you were going to say those three things? Or more importantly, we didn't set anything up in advance, correct? 
Exactly, and I, I didn't know what I was going to say either. <laughs> yeah, and those came from your mind, but inside the luggage tag is what I'm interested in, because I wrote down something that was kind of a gut intuition. I've opened up this luggage tag here, laminated inside the luggage tag. Check this out. We're going to zoom in on this right here. You can see. Can you call that out loud for me, please? I have like chills all over my body right now. Sia 615 South Africa. Wow, that is crazy. Yeah. 615 South Africa. I think you and Sia should get to go to South Africa. And guess what? Check your phone later. Because 615 is the last three digits of Sia's telephone number. That's insane. That's insane. I just have it as with her name because I text her all the time, but I don't even know what her number is. Um, all right, Keith has one more trick uh, for us when we come back after this break. Oh my God, I don't know how you do that. We'll be right back. We're back with uh, magician Keith Berry, and one more trick, what are we doing now? So Alan, I noticed a couple of months ago during one of the lockdowns that you found a cat that plays tic-tac-toe. Do you remember that? Yes. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have a little game of tic-tac-toe here, okay? Uh, there's a photograph here as well. We'll get that photograph in a few moments time. But for now, do you want to be X's or O's? Your choice. Uh, I'll be O's. Okay, so you get the start, okay? So this O here, so this will be the top, this is the middle, this is the bottom. You tell me where to place this O, top, middle, or bottom, and what position? Uh, top, kind of right where you are. So here? Yeah, the or corner. In the middle? Yes, right there in the corner. Okay, got it. Plonk it down. Now you get to make my moves for me. So how about this? This X here, where would you like this X to go? Tell me where you'd like it to go. Right below it. So down here? Yep. Perfect. Okay, your next O, Ellen. Now, I'm trying to influence you, just so you know. So you tell me where you want this O to go. In the middle. In the middle. Plonk it in the middle. That's an obvious choice. Yep. Okay, so the X here, this next X, where would you like this one to go? Uh, right below the other X. Okay, now, here's the interesting choice you have to make. And this is an important choice. It might not seem it right now. But do you want me to turn this X, or do you want me to keep it this way? Uh, you can keep it that way. Okay, I'll plunk it there, good. Okay, nobody's won yet, so this next O here, this is yours, where would you like it to go? Uh, the bottom corner, uh, so I get tic-tac-toe. Okay, so you're already at tic-tac-toe, so it appears like you've won, but let's finish the game out. So this X here, where would you like this one to go? Uh, in between the O and the X. So down here? Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay, this next O here. Now remember, I'm trying to influence you, Alan, where do you want this O to go? Uh, the top center. Top center, so just in here? Yeah. Okay, this next X, just two uh, positions left? Yeah, uh, the center and the, on the side. Oh, so you're not going to block yourself here, so I'll plunk that one in there. And then finally, obviously, this O would go over here, which means that you seemingly have won twice with tic-tac-toe down here. But here's the interesting thing, Alan. You recognize this photograph here? Yes. You do, because this is a photograph of me on your show, uh, I don't know how many years ago, I think it's 16 years ago, 14 years ago. It was actually back in 2004, Ellen. That's a photograph of me. But on the other side of this is what we're interested in, because I don't know if you can see that, Ellen. That's OOO, which is exactly what you did up here. XOX in the middle and XXO down the middle. Actually, I win our game of tic-tac-toe, not you. Wow. Wow. I don't understand well, it. I don't understand. Well, what if I told you? What if I told you that wasn't the trick? Oh, it's not. No, no. Look. You see, the photograph is the most important thing to me. If I just remove this little board that we have here, if I get rid of that, you see, you made all of the decisions. It seems, but watch on the other side of these. There's something I want you to see. So look, on the other side of these is actually a photograph of you with me all those years ago. You made all the decisions, Ellen, each and every decision you made, and you can see that you actually formed the exact same photograph from all of those years ago, both of us back together, Ellen, each and every moment, back together, back to back, cheek to cheek, so to speak. Oh there we are my there, God. exactly back in time, Ellen. Oh there it is. my and God. <laughs> you are incredible. You're amazing. To get tickets for Keith's Thank virtual you. Halloween show, go to keithberry.com, and we'll be back. Thank you so much. Good seeing you again.